Welcome back, it's your favorite data science therapist. Take a deep breath. Now close your third LinkedIn tab. Yes, I see it. You're spiraling and that's why we're here. This is data science group therapy for overqualified, under-interviewed, emotionally fried job seekers. Feeling burnt out, anxious, ghosted by every job board, feeling personally attacked by LinkedIn influencers who say, just build a portfolio like it's 2015. No, uh, I don't have much of a portfolio right now. These are common symptoms of can't get a jabitis. Here are its root causes. Apart from the shitty job market, which is obvious to everyone. Root cause number one, your projects look academic even when they're not. This one hurts because you worked hard, but when your project reads like a class assignment, no framing, no real world context, no stakes, hiring managers tune out. It's not because your work isn't good, it's because it doesn't speak their language. Built a classifier with 92% accuracy sounds like a grade, but reduce screening time by three hours per case using a rule-based scoring app, Flask plus XG Boost, uh, sounds like impact. Fix number one, build something that replaces a human, then tell the story. Instead of Titanic datasets, try a streamlit tool that auto-generates reports with actionable insights, an LLM-powered script that drafts client emails for a small team, a dashboard that shows which meetings should have been emails and probably cost 10,000 last quarter. Add context, write it like you're solving someone's real headache. Why it works, you stop sounding like a student and start sounding like a teammate. Root cause number two, you're not mirroring their stack, you're hoping they'll translate yours. You list your favorite tools, they wanna see theirs. Pandas and Seaborn are great, but if the job post says Airflow, Snowflake, and Looker, you need to speak that language, or you won't even make it to a human reviewer. Fix number two, rebuild someone else's stack, then write about it like you've already been hired. Try this, pick a mid-sized company you love, find a job post, extract their stack, build a dummy repo using those exact tools, write a post, how I rebuilt company's data stack in 72 hours and found three bottlenecks. Be generous, be curious, share your reasoning like a peer, not a pitch. Why it works, it removes uncertainty. You become familiar and that means hireable. Root cause number three, your resume looks fake, even though it's not, you did the work. But in a sea of AI generated resumes and vague bullet points, your actual accomplishments might read suspiciously polished or worse, ambiguous. And ambiguity is the enemy of short attention spans. I have a very short attention span. But our point is very simple. You see when- Oh, look, a bird! <laughs> Fix number three. Turn your resume into a clear trust-building signal. Tweak your wording. Don't say BS MS program 2021-2025. Looks weird. Raises timeline questions. Could be real, could be fake. Say, accelerated BS MS 2021-2025 registrar verified. Now it reads as deliberate and confirmed, not sketchy. Don't say teaching assistant machine learning lab. Sounds academic, junior, vague, they picture you grading homework. Say, ML Lab Technical Mentor guided 40 plus students through model delivery milestones. Now you're coaching, reviewing pipelines, and showing leadership in a technical context. Don't say, objective, to obtain a challenging data science position, generic, passive, zero value delivered up front. Say, why you should interview me section with two to three bullet points of real outcomes. Save 10 plus hours per week automating reporting workflows, Python plus Airflow. Built LLM powered support bot that reduced ticket backlog by 20%. Rebuilt KPI dashboard using Snowflake plus DBT, five times faster insights for sales team. You're telling them exactly what kind of value you bring and how you deliver it. No fluff, no buzzwords, just clarity, tone, and transparency. Why it works, it de-escalates skepticism, makes belief easier than doubt. Root cause number four, your GitHub looks like homework, not work. There's solid code inside, but from the outside, no readme, no framing, no reason to care, to a hiring manager that says unfinished, academic, risky. Fix number four, turn GitHub into an invitation, not a filing cabinet. Add a pinned repo with a human-centered readme, what I build and who it helps. Labels on projects like automates reporting workflow, replicates company X's stack, focus, model explainability in healthcare, a loom or short video walkthrough with your voice explaining why this matters. Why it works, context builds trust, a voice builds a connection and effort shows. Root cause number five, you're playing the resume lottery and hoping to beat the odds. 500 applications later, still nothing. You feel invisible because you are. The truth, the market's not fair. Cold applying has a two to 3% hit rate. So stop gambling, start showing up directly. Fix number five, pick three companies, solve one of their problems, send it to someone who'd care. Don't apply, investigate. Study their product, mirror their stack, 
build a demo that solves a tiny workflow pain, DM a team member. Hey, I saw your team's hiring. I mocked up a workflow that uses DBT plus Snowflake to automate X. Thought it might be helpful. It's not spam, it's initiative. Why it works, this isn't applying, it's offering. And that gets noticed. You're not invisible because you're unqualified. You're invisible because your story isn't loud or clear enough, yet. So stop applying, start translating, make your work obvious, make your value undeniable. And if this session helped, like, subscribe, and share it with someone quietly screaming into their terminal. We'll be back soon. Same place, same emotional spiral.